Chris from My Stamp Lady here, and I'm here to share with you these cute little Halloween treat bags. These bags are a little bit larger than the ones I've made in the past, just so they'll hold a bit more. I'm using some of the black trim and the designer series paper from the clearance rack. So we get started with a 6 inch by 12 inch piece of patterned paper that is two sided. And I'm going to use this orange and black side. Okay, I'm pulling in my Simply Scored. I like using this because there's minimal movement of the paper for many score lines. I'm also using the wider ball on the scoring tool because I don't want to rip my paper. So let's start at 2 and 3 quarters inch, move to 3 and 1 quarter inch, 3 and 3 quarters inch, and then I'm going to move over to 8 and 1 quarter inch, eight and three quarters inch, and nine and one quarter inch along the 12 inch edge. Rotate it 90 degrees and score it at one inch along the six inch edge. Okay, so along this bottom edge here, I'm kind of folding that. I'm gonna cut off most of it, just leaving this front middle flap. Make a little diagonal slit up to the score line on each side of that little area. Placing it inside my trimmer, and I'll cut down to this last score mark, starting from the top down to the last score mark. Okay, I can remove that piece. It's also cut down to that slit where I made earlier. Okay, let's move down to that second cut. or the area, you know, just at that top fold there. So I'm going to find that top score line, there we go, and cut off the other part. And this is what you'll end up with. You have a little flap at the bottom. I'm going to fold these score lines. It's just mountain and valley folds back and forth to get a gusset on each side. And repeat on the other side. Just going back and forth and making that gusset. Then you fold up that bottom flap. And that will close up the bag. Okay, I made a little decorative edge along the top there. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm replacing the arm with the rotary trimmer arm that also holds a blade that you can replace. And this is the scallop blade. First one just pops off, add, and then this pops into those same little slots. You do need to rotate the cutting mat so that you have a solid surface. Okay, and then I'm just going to place that right in there, up against the top there, and pull down that blade. And now I have a nice finished edge with a little scallop. I'm going to pull in my fast fuse and close this up. So I only need to make two places where I need adhesive on the one edge here. And then fold that back over and rub that down and burnish that in place. Okay, and then do my bottom flap. And it's nice to have those angled edges. It's a nice finish. Okay, and that's how you make the envelope or the bag part of it. Okay, so now let's move on to the little tag to decorate it. I started with a basic black banner that I cut with the banner framelits die. And then I've cut out one of the little ghosts with the Fall Fest polymer bundle. And I'm going to use one of the little base sets from this Fall Fest stamp set. You can see that there's a few options. Let's use this one here. And I'm just going to ink up the eyes. Making sure that I don't get ink on that mouth portion. And let's stamp that ghost. Okay, 
and we'll set that over on my banner. Now I'm pulling in a piece of pumpkin pie cardstock, the larger pumpkin or taller pumpkin, and the pumpkin pie ink. Inking up that stamp and we'll stamp it right onto the pumpkin pie cardstock, doing a tone on tone look. I'm pulling back in the face and this time I'm going to ink up the entire face. Because a jack-o'-lantern needs a mouth too. Pulling in the um, framelit for it, and I've run it through the Big Shot to cut that out. Framelits make it nice and easy to get those trimmed out. Now I have a half an inch by three inch piece of Whisper White cardstock, and I'm pulling in a greeting, Happy Haunting, from the Ghoulish Greeting stamp set, inking that in black and stamping that onto the Whisper White cardstock. With a pair of scissors, I'm going to notch both of the ends to make a banner. So you start by slitting up the center and then going to each point and cutting up to the top of that slit. Repeat on the other side, make a little cut in the center, and then go from each point up to the center. Okay. Now I just have to pull back in my fast views and put that all back together or mount that down. There we go. We have a fun tag. Okay, so I'm going to pull in a 1 8 inch circle punch and I'm punching through the tag and the top layer of my bag two little holes there. Make sure you don't punch through the back. You just want through the top. Let's pull in that trim from the clearance rack and slip that through my holes. And tie a bow at the top and then we can just trim those tails. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, Chris, at mystamplady.com. You can find all these supplies in my online store at shopwithmystamplady.com. Happy Halloween and thanks for watching.